So you're going to need a kettlebell or a dumbbell of sorts between 30 and 65 pounds. It's going to depend on what you, um, whatever your rotator cuffs can handle. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to have it placed right about here. You're going to bring your scat back and down so your shoulder is in the proper position. And what this is going to do while you're holding the dumbbell or kettlebell is it's going to push. One more time. It's going to push your shoulder actually back into the capsule, stretching the anterior side and kind of teaching your body to keep the femoral head in the back of your acetabulum, which is just the capsule that holds it all. Um, for impingement, it's usually a bicep tendon and pec tightness and sometimes an anterior delt, uh, sometimes traps tubes. It just brings it over here. So when you're over here in life or benching like this or squatting like this, just anything with internal rotation, it, things get strong and tight here and it pulls the femur head forward into the acetabulum. And then that's where you feel the pinching and you feel the clicking. So this is essentially going to reset everything. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So you're going to grab your weight. However you can get it up, however it's comfortable for you. Don't strain yourself. You're going to get it up, kind of let everything settle in. Put this hand on your elbow so it locks it out. This is not a strength movement. This is a keeping stability, and you're just going to let the weight sink in right there. One more time. Just going to let it sink in, and you should feel a stretch or at least a sense of stability, and you're going to hold that for two minutes. Once again, you got to do that for two minutes. It's super important.